Hey, how's it going guys? There's some rumors of Spider-Man 4 going around. I've seen a couple videos about it. I've seen a few articles going around. But before we get into this article right here, I want to talk to you about something. I got to meet Sam Raimi at a convention earlier this year, and I got to ask him about Spider-Man 4. And more specifically, I asked him what villain he wanted for Spider-Man 4. Because the way Sam Raimi used villains in his Spider-Man movies, they're not just adversaries to Spider-Man. They also provide avenues for him to grow and better as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. So I was curious as to what villain he would have envisioned for Spider-Man 4. And if it's really happening, what villain we might see in an upcoming Spider-Man 4. And his answer essentially was, he doesn't really know. He hasn't put too much thought into it. He said specifically, he would need to go back and watch No Way Home to see what they did with Tobey Maguire's character and then build off from there. So this Spider-Man 4, if I can go by what he said, it wouldn't be a direct sequel to Spider-Man 3. It would be following the events of No Way Home. He would have to take into account No Way Home into his canon. So it would be Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, No Way Home, Spider-Man 4. So it's not going to be a quadrilogy. He's really going to have to take into account what they did with, Sp with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and No Way Home, which I personally don't really like. I would like to see a Spider-Man, what he originally envisioned for the character, where he thought the character would be at this point, you know, and not really take into account what happened in No Way Home. But that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about that. Without further ado, let's jump into this article here. All these rumors of Spider-Man 4 are coming from Thomas Hayden Church, the man who played Sandman in Spider-Man 3. And honestly, there's nothing really here. There's nothing here. He said, there's always been some kind of, I've heard rumors that Sam Raimi was going to do another Spider-Man movie with Tommy Maguire. And if that happens, I would probably campaign to maybe at least do a cameo. Yeah, obviously, there's always been rumors because it was canceled. So there was always rumors like, hey, are, is, is, is a Spider-Man 4 ever going to come out? Are we going to do Spider-Man 4? If seeing Spider-Man 4 would be really awesome. So... He just addressed the idea of a Spider-Man 4. That's, there's not, that's not providing any validity to, uh, to the fact that there is a Spider-Man 4 in the works. So I'm not sure what all the other videos are talking about. If they are taking this as, hey, is Spider-Man 4 really happening? No, no, no. This is... There, there's nothing really to draw from here. This quote here from three months ago, maybe I could see you could draw something from. He says, Conversations have been about the possibility of Sandman coming into a future iteration of it. The conversation has happened about him coming back and maybe picking up a more fulfilling story with Flint and being not just Sandman but returning to human form because there was a story of that. I don't see... I don't know if we're going to go back to a Sandman story. I did really enjoy the Sandman story in Spider-Man 3. That was probably the best part of Spider-Man 3, other than the dancing, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, so maybe, because Kevin Feige was part of this discussion, so there is a possibility there. So again, the rumors that have been going around lately have been coming from this comment over here, which I personally don't think you can draw really anything from. This one, maybe. Now, this part of the article it seems a bit interesting. What would Raimi's Spider-Man 4 be about? I already told you what Sam Raimi himself said, but looks like here, Grant Curtis, Spider-Man 3 producer, had something to say. I think the lizard has got a great story of not only personal pain, but also emotional pain, and trying to mask both of those. It's a strong storyline. The lizard has always been a favorite of mine, and even before, work, even before working on these movies. I've always liked Craven the Hunter, but he'd have to be used selectively. For me, though, it would have to be it would have to be the lizard. Um, I don't know if they would go the lizard in Spider-Man 4 because we just had the lizard in Amazing Spider-Man and we saw the lizard in No Way Home. So I don't think that they I don't think they would go the direction of the lizard again. Now, this here is a bit interesting. Jeffrey Henderson, the guy who did the storyboards for Spider-Man 4, revealed that both Mysterio and Vulture were considered for the film. Mysterio's appearance was planned to be a Bruce Campbell cameo 
which would have been part of a beginning of the film montage featuring, in Henderson words, a montage of C and D list villains that we knew would never be used as main protagonists. Mysterio, the Shocker, the Prowler, the old school onesie wearing version of the Rhino, maybe even the Stilt Man, etc. He confirmed that Vulture would have appeared as the film's main villain since everyone was going to dismiss the Vulture as just an old guy in a silly green suit. Sounds like the Green Goblin. Um, but I don't think they would go with the Vulture for Spider-Man 4 either because we saw that in Homecoming as well. And the team wanted to go the opposite way and really make him the most fearsome and formidable adversary that Spider-Man had faced in the series. We were working on some crazy cool stuff because everyone from top to bottom felt like Spidey 3 was a bit of a missed opportunity. And we really wanted to help Sam take Spider-Man 4 to another level so that he could end the series on a high note. So that's it for this video. We talked about what Sam Raimi himself said about a potential Spider-Man 4 and the quote from actor Thomas Hayden Church that spawned all these rumors that I personally, I, you can't really draw anything from that. He could have said that before No Way Home came out and it still would have made perfect sense because there's always been rumors for Spider-Man 4. Um, but let me know your thoughts, your opinions down below in the comment section. Would you guys like a Spider-Man 4? And let me know, since Sam Raimi couldn't answer my question, what would you guys want as a villain for this upcoming Spider-Man 4? Let me know down in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.